So, welcome to a tutorial about geometry cache components that you can find in Actos and the general know-how about them. Let's begin. So, when you add a geometry cache component, you usually start with something like this. I suggest removing running and looping from the defaults because they are turned on and usually it bothers me. And you know, setting an actual geometry match, uh, geometry cache. So, uh, these are the functions that you use most likely when you're working with geometry caches. You can make your own if you subclass it, whatever. But these are the stuff you'll use if you're using loopless. So, we have set looping, which is the same as this. Uh, we have play, which is the same as running. Then we have set playback speed. And the set time offset. Now, all of these are affecting a timeline related to this component. Meaning this isn't exactly like animations, uh, where each animation has its own timeline and you can like press play and let it finish and whatever and then you just I don't know add a montage and then it just plays another animation here it's actually all the same timeline so what you need to do is to play from start if you switch between the geometry caches or you know play reverse or set the time offset to zero the start time offset Otherwise, if you press play and it starts and then it ends and you, then you switch to another. For example, you have um, uh, let's just switch this up. You get the duration and you let it play. and it's not looping, then it will just be stuck at the end position. See, it closes everything while talking about the middle one. Then it's just stuck at the end position because this is a timeline per component and not per asset. Another example for this is the start time offset. I'm starting one and a half seconds into it then I'm waiting for two seconds and then I'm setting to a new geometry cache. Here are the two caches that I'm using. We're starting at the middle pose of that and then at a sort of middle pose of this. It's kind of hard to see um, as this one like peaks around this corner. But yeah, it's all the same thing. Now, another important thing to know is that get duration, the thing I just used, uh, used before is not affected by playback speed meaning if you set your playback speed to I don't know let's say 5 Wait, I'll just do that because I don't want to use the start time offset let's set it to 5 and then let's get the duration The uh, duration we'll use for the delay itself. I'm sorry if I'm stuttering. It's a little hard for me to focus while talking. So, our test here is that we set the playback speed to 5. Then we let it play. And if we play super fast. And... Presumably, we we'll let the duration go. We'll delay. We'll delay for the duration of the asset we use, which is uh, close, and then we'll switch to another one. But notice what happens if I set the playback speed to five and also to looping, because you know, otherwise it's no fun. It will just finish a few times before, and then we'll play the next animation. So what we get from this is still, 
the same timeline for the entire component and it's not per asset. That's basically the main thing I wanted to talk about here and took me a long while to figure out. That you can also switch between uh, animations by switching geometry caches. And you can also play from start, play reverse, and play reverse from end. These stuff are useful if you uh, switch, for example, like if you use this now without the playback, then it will play once and then it will just stop. It will just jump to the next geometry cache at its final position because we reached 3.75, which is the duration of the um, previous asset, and we're stuck there on the timeline. So if I want it to play again, then I'll do play from start. And then it will play again. So these are the main stuff you want to watch out about. Watch for, watch out about, whatever. And this is pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave them in comments or, I don't know, message me. Uh, my recommended way of using it is like, you know, the get duration uh, and using that as a delay since there are no uh, delegates for when the animation is over. Uh, but getting the playback speed uh, is also a good useful thing to do uh, in case someone decided that you want the geometry cache to be at 5 like I showed you before so it won't just loop so it would be dynamic and that's basically it thanks for watching and good luck with the geometry caches